This is Ben with MakeUseOf.com. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at how to secure your Windows computer by locking down certain areas. Whether you want to create a standard account for users that shouldn't be changing settings, or you want to make your computer safer to use for children, we'll take a look at options that let you do so on your Windows 10 PC. Now the first option is creating a standard account. This is a basic step of account management in Windows that you should be doing for people that you don't want to be administrators on the PC. If we open up our settings panel here and head to the accounts tab, then family and other people, you can see all of the accounts that are on your computer other than your own. If someone's here, you can click on their account and change them from an administrator to a standard user. If you want to add a new user, you can add them via this link and then just set them up as a standard account when you do that. A standard user won't be able to change protected computer settings like the time or internet connection and they also can install software. The next option that you should take a look at is the child account. Now Windows 10 has made this a lot easier for families to manage their children's computer usage. If you come in here and click add a family member you can walk through the process of adding a child You'll be asked to create a new email account for your kid if they don't already have one. And once you go through those steps, uh, that child will be registered under your Microsoft account. And then you can visit this Microsoft Family Management panel. Uh, when you jump into this, you'll be able to look at uh, lots of aspects of your child's computer usage. If you turn on Activity Reporting, you'll get a weekly email showing you what they've been doing on their computer and as well as you can turn off the in private browsing feature so that they can't browse without leaving traces of history. If we go into the, some of the other categories here you'll see easy settings to block inappropriate websites. You can also create a restricted list of websites if you only want them to visit a few pages. You can enter those here and they won't be able to go anywhere else. As well as the games feature if you want to block Windows Store apps that are not appropriate for a certain age group. You can set how old your child is here, and then depending on your area, you'll see movie ratings, video game ratings, and things like that that will be restricted for them in the Windows Store. You can also give your child a small amount of money on the Windows Store from your card that they can spend uh, any way they want, and that prevents you from having to give them your credit card and, and hand out that balance to them. One of the other important Windows settings that you might want to take a look at is the Group Policy Editor, which you can access by typing into the Start menu Edit Group Policy if you're on a Windows 10 professional version. Now there are a lot of settings in here that you can use to lock down your computer settings that we won't be taking a look at in this video, but check out MakeUseOf.com for the full article if you want to see some of these settings you should use to lock down certain areas of Windows. The last tool we want to take a look at is the Front Face Lockdown Tool for Windows. This software is intended for locking down computers that are used as a kiosk machine, but it also collects a lot of settings that you can use for your own computer. Um, if you want to make sure that every time the computer turns on, a certain program runs, or if you want to disable Windows updates so the computer doesn't restart, uh, there are also security settings. If you want to prevent people from opening the task manager or from changing their own password, you can do that in here with this software. So overall, Windows 10 has a lot of security settings that you can use to keep your computer uh, locked off from people who shouldn't be accessing the more secure parts, as well as monitoring your child's usage to keep them safe while they're using the internet. That's all for this time, but make sure to check out MakeUseOf.com for more tips and tricks articles like this, as well as giveaways on the coolest new tech.